Good morning. The workout and stretching session, right? Workout and stretching session. I feel like something is missing, but I don't think anything is. Is the chat? I think the man. Hi, K. Okay, well, okay. This broke your arm. What did break your arm? So. There we go. Let's do the Instagram story. <laughs> Today, we're going to focus on apps and upper body. But uh, obviously, we're going to do some legs as well. I really have to get tanned. You look, you can always see like the shorts that I'm wearing. Like I'm not tanned here, but tanned <laughs> further down. Doesn't matter. Um, maybe this weekend, finally back to the beach. Let's see. Storia. So, sorry for Instagram. So. We're going to try to use the gliders again today. We haven't used them in a while, right? And it's not so hot. I mean, it is hot, but it's not as hot right now. It's going to get hotter. So, uh... So that's how we're going to go back using them. I'm going to put on the, the wristband as well, right? The pulse wristband. And uh, let's see the dumbbells we'll get here today because um, I get a message this morning from the delivery company that they are actually trying to, going to try to deliver them today. Well, let's see. Let's see. So they left Palma this morning. And yeah, let's see how much they will have to deliver. Yeah, because I don't know how they work here in the countries on the countryside. If they, first of all, like, if they do Palma and then the countryside, if it's someone who's like doing this side of the island and it is coming over, whatever. Let's see. So did you actually break your arm? That's very painful. Hi, Solo, buenas! I broke my arm once. It was pretty bad. Annoying. Hmm. This is not stretching. So. So today, one hour of cardio, 10 to 15 minutes with the gliders in the beginning, then all the other good stuff. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that it's like it's getting hotter, but it's like not 30 degrees right now, so we're not going to sweat right away like crazy, so we can use them. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Hi, Emo, welcome. He was learning to Nirvana, smells like Nirvana. Nice, nice. That <laughs> looks like it, right? It looks like it. <laughs> well, Okay, uh, let's start with a quick warm up rotating through those hands. Other way around. Wide stance, sliding down the side of our body here. 
shoulders down, right? Shoulders down. And reach. Reach. And down in the middle. Feet wide. Sway from side to side to stretch your backside a little bit. I hope you don't hear too much noise because they're doing some construction work down there. So yeah, maybe you will hear that. Feet together. Roll up. Circle your shoulders. Circle them back. Back, back. And to the front. Head from side to side. Look from left to right. Circle your head. It's actually always three hours and 45 minutes. So, yeah. And the other way around. Not always, but most of the time. Let's rotate those elbows. Rotate. Other way around. Open and close here, like kind of with a little, like, ah, uh, making your spine, around your spine, arches. Yeah. And arch. Ah. Stretch top the tops of your feet a little bit. Bend one leg and the other. Woo! You couldn't get your real hair? No. My real hair is pretty short. It's just a bundle here. And I mean, if I cut it, I have to cut the the puntas. I have to cut a little bit anyway. White stance again here. Twist up with the arm. The other way around. I'm a brand new hair, by the way. This is just very short. Up again. Rotate those arms or circle those arms. And the other way around. Let's swing him back. Swing him back. Ah, nice. Let's have some more for tea. We're going to use the gliders today a bit for the beginning. Um, if you don't have gliders, like I said, if you don't have gliders, um, instead of gliders, you could use thick socks or towels or just do it without the gliders. And instead of gliding out, you could just be stepping out. So in many many moments we're going to be like in kind of a half squat here like that sliding out to the side or to the back right one leg is going to be bent the other one is going to be the working or the moving leg and um yeah this is going to be this is going to be it um yeah yeah and if you don't have them don't worry i'm going to cue you in we're always going to like do both sides in case you like listening? Yeah, you said that, right? You said that. Well, you said you were learning to it, but yeah, I imagine that you meant you were listening to it while you were learning. It's a good song. I like Nirvana. So I'm going to start the cardio session here so that we can start, right? If you have the gliders, grab your gliders. If you don't have gliders, don't worry. We can, we can do without. And yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Da, da, da. 
Yeah, it's, let's see. It was too hot for using then, too sweaty. But let's see. Today should be should be doable, feasible. And three, two, one. Okay, in the first minute, we're not going to use the gliders because we just start off. Hi, Mile, welcome. We just march. We just march in place. Right? Ba -ba, just march, march, march. And yeah, one hour. Yeah, it's also redhead. Nice. I have this one and then I have the other one. The other one is like a street color. The other one is at the door. I can see her pause. Coming in. So. I'm gonna tell you always what we change and yeah if you don't have the gliders right yeah don't worry about it just instead of gliding just do stuff and we're gonna start with some leg work and then also we're gonna to try to do some up and arms work with the gliders 10 to 15 minutes I'd say and then we're gonna switch it up into other stuff this is the other cat by the way and march 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 okay Come onto the gliders, half squat here, and slide back. One leg is going back here, right? Back, back, like that, back, back. Straight back, so it's not a lunge. It's not a lunge, right? Your hips are square, and we're sliding back. And you could add your arms like this to keep your balance. So you could have them like a still, whatever you want to, right? Up to you, back. 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 Woo back and back. Just about 15 seconds and then we're going to do the other leg. Let's see how that will work out. Like the good thing about the gliders is that you are, it's not high impact and it's a hard workout anyway, right? Okay, other side. Other leg goes back, straight back. Let's see how long that works because like I'm feeling like I'm getting sweaty. When I'm getting sweaty, uh, I won't have grip on the gliders because they have like one side that's like, uh, that's like um, cloak and the other side is plastic and the closed side will get very sticky with, uh, with sweat and the other side very slippery. So yeah, so this is why they're not ideal for the times where we sweat too much. So let's see if we can manage to do all the exercises that I plan to, or if we have to stop and do something else earlier. But yeah, I'm just like thinking about doing 10 to 15 minutes with them. So I hope, I, I guess we won't break into like a terrible sweat until then. So we will be able to do that hopefully. Back and back. Five seconds. Ba -ba. Good. Other leg. Same thing here, and we slide out, out, out to the side, right? And you can have your hands here by your side, while you slide out, out, out. Hi, Yosiru, welcome, out, out, out. So, like I said, the dumbbells are supposed to arrive today. I don't know when they will arrive today, probably later this afternoon, but they're like, uh, technically they're on the way. They're on their way, they're in Palma, or they were in Palma, and now they're on the delivery truck already. So, let's see. Huh? Out and out. 15 seconds, and then we do the other side. Woohoo! How does that feel after such a long time? I bat my legs, I will feel that tomorrow, I will feel that. Because these movements are like not the typical ones that one does. Yeah, this side. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Out, out. And we are four minutes into the workout. Four minutes of one hour of cardio. Not much, right? So much to do still. But yeah, let's enjoy that. Oh, 
I do feel a burn in my leg already, in the standing leg, but it doesn't matter, right? In which one, as long as we do feel something. Out, 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 out. And if you want it harder, you can go lower. But make sure that your knees are aligned with your uh, toes and that you have a straight back. Now we do the circles. Half circle to the front and to the back. And we go over here. Whew. Five circles. Whew. Cleaning the floor, mopping the floor, right? We want it to like be, like to be a mirror. And with that, like you have to make sure with the gliders that you don't, like that you still step on the glider so that it's like, you not don't lose it, but that you don't step on it too much so that you don't like get stuck. It's a, it's a thin line. Front and back, front and back. Uh, this side is awaiting us and after that we're going to get to the floor at uh, this side Woo. Woo. Uh, this side half circles Woo. thank you yes they are they have to be they have to carry me around. Back and forth, back and forth. Woo! 30 seconds to go, guys. 30 seconds to go. And then we come onto the floor, but with the glider still. Woo! I'm thirsty already. Well, we gotta drink something as well soon, but not yet. Not yet after 10 minutes. Woo! It's the first minute of like marching and drinking, I'd say. So we have three minutes ahead. Now, we come into plank pose and what we'll do is tuck and out, tuck and out, tuck and out. I know this is hard, but it's okay. Tuck, out, tuck, out, tuck, out. Ah. I'm gonna read that in a second. I cannot read it when I'm down here. Tuck, out, tuck, out. This is an ab move, right? You will also feel that in your quads. Out, tuck, out, tuck, out. 15 seconds, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Out, tuck, push out, tuck, and push out, in, out, in, out. And we come up here, Woo. and back, slide back in a courtesy squat, right? Courtesy squat. Woo. Woo. Yes, I'm a, I'm a cyborg actually, right? <laughs> Back, back, kind of a courtesy squat. After that, we're gonna do piking, and then one minute of marching, drinking, and catching our breath before we press on. Woo, so, courtesy. I'm gonna show you from the side a little bit, although it's a bit late, right? You kind of bend that back, left, like this. Slide out. And now we do plank to pike. So up, out, up. Kind of like the other exercise, but this time we're not bending those knees. We're leaving those legs straight. And we're spiking up and then ah, pushing out again. Pike, plank, pike. Plank, pike, and plank. Ooh! Mm. It's a good core move, a good upper body move. 
Good for a body move, actually. Wow. This is really hard. Up. 10 seconds to go. And then one minute of marching in place and hydrating. Up. Down. Okay. March in place, guys. March in place. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop me now. No. Drink something. For the next exercise, you might want to grab something to put it underneath your knees, a towel or whatever maybe you have. I used to have something to put under my knees. I don't know where it is now, but it doesn't matter. The towel will do, right? So that we don't hurt our knees and we come into a plank. We come into a plank here on, on our knees, right? And then we slide one arm out and the other goes down, right? This is the exercise now, but in a plank here. Out and up. This is hard. This is harder than it looks. At least for me it is. Uh, I don't know about you. Uh, Take your time, right? Take your time. Oof. You could just be doing push-ups if you don't have the gliders, by the way. Ah, ten seconds, guys. Okay, up again, up again, and we slide out again, you to the side. We did that before, I know, but we can do that again, right? It's a cardio workout. We can't repeat some stuff, especially if it's something that's not so hard. It's a good thing to catch our breath, right? To catch our breath. Then we do the other side, and then we do that thing we just did again in the half plane. Woo! Out, out. I didn't invent that actually. This exercise is an existing exercise there is, right? I just looked it up, you know? I cannot take credit for inventing that. Out, out, out. And you can even try that on your toes, but it's super hard, so it's easier to do it on your knees. At this side in five, four, three, two, one. At this side. And always have a bend in that standing leg. Woo! -hoo! Out, out, out. And after that, back on the towel with our knees and again those arm exercises, this upper body move. Woo! Out, 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 out. And try to do that nice and controlled over down there, right? No need to rush it. Woo! Out, 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 out. 25 seconds to go with that move. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down here, back into that plank, half plank pose. Plank on your knees, uh, one, two. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. You need the oxygen, guys. This will also help you with your single arm push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Oof. Oof. For 
much still, guys. Oh, it's just one minute, although it's hard. Ugh. 15 seconds to go. Oh. Okay. Up again, guys. Up again. Woo. We do the back kick again. The first thing, we let go straight back. We can have or we can move our arms to help us with balance and have them at our sides. Hips are not twisted. Woo. Your favorite live stream. Oh, great. I like it. And thank you for liking it so much. Woo. Uh, yes, I use them. That's... Woo. Back. And back. 25 seconds, other side. And then we're going to do some plank jack down there right now. If you know what I mean. Woo, back and back. 50 minutes in, so I guess it's gonna be about 20 minutes with the gliders in the end. Nice, huh? Back and back. Three, two, one, other side. Woohoo! Back with that foot. Push it back, push it back. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. And if you ever get too thirsty, drink something, right? It's important to hydrate. Back and back and back. <sighs> ah, and smile. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, but yeah. We're gonna drink again after 20 minutes. So every 10 minutes is a Water break, but you can always take a water break in between if you feel like you have to, right? Because it's very important. Listen to your body. You know, your body tells you what it wants, what it needs. Sometimes it's trying, sometimes it's trying like to cheat on you, to tell you, oh, stop, although you can push on, but yeah, well, that's just, that's the way it is. Woo! Back, and back, and back. Back, and back, and back. Two, one. Now the plank jack, so we come here into the plank pose and out, in, out, in. And you could be just tapping out or jumping out if you don't have the gliders. Out, in, out, in. And as you can see, I don't rush it, right? I do it slowly, slowly, nice and slow. Enjoying every move here. Out, in, stay in that plank. Shoulders away from ears. Everything is nice and engaged. Out and in with those feet. 25 seconds to go. Push through. Bap, 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 bap. Out, in, out, in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We get up again, and what we do now is a back lunge, a lunge, right? A lunge, a reverse lunge. I want you to have that toe, that heel tucked when you go back there, right? Heel tucked, the knee, the back knee is bent now. So, yeah. Woo! And tuck. And tuck. Yeah, the break, I just said, the break is at 20 minutes for me. You could always take a break, but for me, it's still two minutes. And back, back, and back. Woo! And back. Nice and slow if you want to, right? As you can see, I'm not rushing anything here. No, no need to. No need to rush. Back and back. The next thing is gonna be mountain climbers. Mountain climbers. And then we're done with the gliders, right? Okay. Back down. Back down. Mountain climbers. So we slide in and out here. This is the last move with the gliders. So keep pushing. After that, we'll do some other stuff. Glide in and glide out. Keep breathing. You don't have to rush. You can do it in slow mo if you like. All right, it's still gonna be effective. Push in and out, pull in and push out. That's what I wanted to say. 
Oh yes, really good work here. Keep breathing. 11 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's put those gliders aside. We're getting a good sweat on already. March, march in place, guys. Hydrate. Drink. Ah. Roll out your mat. Roll out your mat. Right? We still have 40 minutes of cardio ahead of us. Roll out your mat. March. Ah. Let's move the cam up a little bit. Just a little bit. Ba, 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 ba. We do now inchworms with a push up. One of my favorite exercises. So we walk out here into plank. Push up and back up, right? Easy move. Easy move. Push up. Bam. Back up. Boom. And if you have weights, by the way, you could have them at hand. I'm going to use my two kilogram weights, roughly 4.4 pounds each dumbbell. But yeah, you can go lighter, you can go heavier. We're going to do a single like that lifts with them. <sighs> bam, bam, bam. And up again. <sighs> and back up. Once more. Push up. And then we're going to do a shift. From down dog into plank, right? Down dog into plank. In this one hour of cardio, we're not gonna stop, right? We march in place at times. We do easier exercise, but we try to move throughout the whole hour. If you feel like anything is like too challenging, too hard, just march in place for one or two exercises. It doesn't matter. You can even like march in place for five minutes, but just don't stop. Don't sit down. Keep moving, right? Because we really want to get that heart rate up and keep it there. 20 seconds to go. Almost done. Now we're going to do some abs before we do the legs. So, uh, on our backs, and we're going to do single leg jackknife. So, up and down. If you feel like this is too hard, you could bend that leg like this, or don't go up all the way, right? Woo! Push up and through. And as you can see, we're not actually doing a lot of high impact stuff here. I don't think we did anything high impact so far. And we don't have to do stuff high impact to get a good workout, huh? I always say that. But yeah, it's important to say it more. And more. Woo! Up and down, guys. Seven seconds to go. Woo! And then we're going to do hollow hold. To both for one minute. Okay, so hollow hold and boat. Down and a oh, half boat. It's actually just a half boat. And half boat, right? More abs. After that, we're getting up and giving those abs a rest, I'd say. And no need to rush here as we're like uh, up all the times. So, like we're engaging. Some muscles at all times. I mean, we usually engage muscles, all the muscles. If not, it would be just like slumping down on the floor. But uh, you know what I mean? Like you're engaging those abs at all times here. 
So that's why you can like take your time and do it slow. And it's still like a workout. 15 seconds. Woohoo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's get up here. And we're gonna do squats with the poles. Poles and up. When we do that, the important thing here is that our legs or knees are aligned with our toes. Obama is going back as if it would be sitting down, right? And uh, the weight is in the heels, so we can technically wiggle our toes. And when we're up, we're squeezing those glutes. But we're trying to not lock the knees because we don't want to hurt ourselves. So yeah, that's about it. Easy peasy, huh? Yeah. Pulse. And pulse. Up and down. Smile, 10 seconds, and then we're gonna grab the dumbbells. Three, two, one. Grab those dumbbells, and no minor light. I don't have heavy ones right now. Right now, I'm not gonna get my heavy ones today. So now we do a curl and a squat. A curl and a squat. Woo! Nice and slow. Curl and squat. I hope I hear the, the doorbell when I get the dumbbells. Woohoo! Curl and squat. But yeah, I guess it will take still some time until the dumbbells arrive. Because if they start in Pharma, it'll take some time till they get here. They probably have like a lot of places to go to before they get here. Next thing, single leg that lift. So, onto one leg, we slightly bend it. The other leg goes back, we hinge forward, back is straight until the torso is more or less parallel to the floor and then up again. If you cannot get that low, don't worry about it. Don't go so low. Down and up. Up and down. Woo. Smile. Try not to wobble too much. I know it's also balance exercise. A good balance exercise. Once more, and then we're going to do the other side. <laughs> Ooh, struggling with my balance here even more. and control straight back leg goes back bend in that standing leg and hinge forward keep breathing once more Okay, now lateral lift. So lateral lift, hold it and down, right? The important thing here is you have a micro bend in your elbows, your shoulders stay down, and you lift those weights up until shoulder height, and then you keep them there for one or two seconds at least. So up and hold. And slowly down and slowly up and hold. And slowly down. And slowly up. 
and hold and down and slowly up hold it and start down again same speed or even even slower maybe right really slow and up and hold it three two one okay now let's stack on sandals dumbbells we come down here into a plank pose we do a push up if we can and then we pull one dumbbell up and we pull the other up right and a push up and pull and pull don't forget to breathe do everything your pace if you need to slow down slow down if you need to take a break take a break but don't stop march in place pull and pull 25 seconds to go pull up and pull up and up up and up once more up and up put the dumbbells away march in place guys and drink something drink something 30 minutes halfway or 31 minutes over halfway through the cardio session <laughs> much <sighs> nice but we're gonna do some easier stuff then we're gonna go back into planking but give those arms a little rest still right they were working uh what we do next is we're gonna lift those knees and clap 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 right not a super hard exercise but yeah you have to really lift those legs up there so you can make it harder and anyway everything's gonna be hard or kind of hard because you're gonna be doing that for an hour like the cardio session not like the same exercise obviously that would be super boring Up, Ooh. up, up, bam, bam. And if you have an exercise ball, it would be good to have it at hand too. We will need it later on. So have it at hand. Up, up, up. Five, four, three, two, one down onto the mat your feet don't have to be super close right into a plank pose and we do shoulder taps and yeah don't wiggle too much and maybe you have to open up your feet further your legs further to be stable here because i don't want you to wiggle your hips right not this no try try to stay stable in your hips and don't uh yeah don't move them so if you have to have your feet wide apart that's totally fine Keep breathing and tapping the shoulders here. Tap, tap, tap. Woo! Tap, tap, tap. Tap. I don't really think you're actually working out. You're writing a lot for that, but it's okay. <laughs> it's nice to have people writing in the chat. Thank you. Up and up. Up and up. Okay, guys, now. Down dog, plank, push up, down dog. In a down dog, we try to align our arm to the back, right? We try to have those legs straight. If we quite, don't quite have them straight, that's okay too. And if you don't want to do the push up, just hold, just hold the high plank, right? No need to do the push up. Back 
and forth, guys. Let's do this. Oof. If you're getting tired, oh, well, good thing. That means you're working hard. <laughs> 10 seconds. <sighs> ah. <sighs> and up again, guys. Up again. And arms. So foot to arm. <laughs> foot to arm. Let's go. Woo. And if you cannot quite get there, it's okay to do like this, right? No need to actually touch that foot. More about moving. <sighs> Woo. Up. Up. <sighs> wow. I'm so sweaty. It's great. Although it's not so hot, it's not 35 degrees and still getting a good sweat. That's what I want. Woo. Woo. Let's go. 15, well, 16 seconds. And then back into the down dog. And then we do this down dog mountain climber combination thingy. I don't know how the exercise is called, but well, you'll see what I do. Okay. We're down in a, we're in a down dog. One leg goes up and then in, just like with a mountain climber. And back out, nice and controlled. And yeah, your leg doesn't have to go high. You could have it down here as well, right? So don't worry. There's options. Slow and controlled. Smile. And up and in. Up and in. And after that we have the other side awaiting us, but still about 15 seconds here with that move. Up. Up. In and up. Okay, other side. Leg goes up, leg comes in. And by the way, our hips are not twisting. We try to keep them Keep them like straight, right? Hip bones square. Um, and I'm gonna read the chat in a second, right? I cannot really read it from down here, so I'm gonna read it once I'm done with that exercise. Pull in and push back. Oh yeah. Mmm. Good. Think. Out. And in, and up, and in. Oh, guys, it's getting hotter. This is what we want, though. And let's come up, march in place. Hi, rareability, welcome. Whew. Yeah, that's the insect pose. We're going to do that later on, but right now we're in the cardio session, so right now we're not going to do it, but we're going to work on that too. Mm. So, march in place, guys. March in place. Um, just going to... <laughs> so now guys grip hi John welcome good morning now let's grab that ball guys let's grab that ball and to hold a plank on that one a forearm plank make sure not to step on your cat so maybe a wide forearm plank like that and let's at first hold that for one minute before we do other nice stuff with the ball. But right now we're just holding that forearm plank. I wanted to have my, my legs closer together, but hell yeah, mouth is in the way, so. And I just put my cell phone and I just turned on the, the, uh, the sound, I turned it off, because I'm expecting those dumbbells to arrive today and I really want them. I mean, we've been waiting five weeks now, 
So we deserve them. I don't think they'll come during the stream, but you never know. You never know until you know. Woo, woo, woo. Hold it. 15 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, be careful with your cat. Be careful with your cat if you have one. And then, if you can, come onto the ball here and roll in and out. This is an easy version because I cannot roll out very far because of the cat. Oh well, it's better than nothing. And I mean, we still have a lot of work ahead. So, so we can do that. Marty is obstructing the mat. He's making it easier for me. I should be thankful, right? Should be thankful. Woohoo! Out. In. Out. In. Out. Woo! Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woohoo! Okay, down. Down, let's put the ball aside. I wanted to use it more, but we cannot use it right now with Mauti. What we do now is we're doing alternate side plays with a push-up. You can do the push-up in between, or you don't do the push-up, and then a side plank, right? Push-up, side plank on the other side. Let's go, guys. Woohoo! Ah. And down. Push up, other side. Woo! Well, one hour. Listen, you should listen, right? I said it's one hour of cardio. And up. And down. Up and down. Let's go, guys. Up. One more push up. And we get up again and we run in place, right? This is the first high impact thing we do. If you don't feel like going high impact, feel free to go low impact, guys. Woo! Right? You don't need to run. You can march in place or do high knees or whatever. We are 42 minutes into the workout, but it's great, right? Let's go. We made it so far. We will. We will, we will do the other 80 minutes as well. And then it's strength work. So run. Dup, dup, dup. Or march, right? Run or march, whatever you want. <sighs> Ooh, how are you feeling, guys? Are you sweaty? Like me. <sighs> da, 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 da. More high impact stuff coming up right now, right? Uh, if you don't want to do high impact, do low impact jumping jacks like this, right? It's an option or do high impact jumping jacks with me. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Push through, 40 seconds. Oh. What? What's happening here? Oh! Oh, it's a sound! Okay. Oh! It's like, because I got a message. I have to change that. This is terrible. This is terrible. Well, at least we hear it. Oh! There was my cell phone. <laughs> what an awful sound. It's like usually just like on vibration. Okay, white stance, guys. And no march in place. I have to turn. I have to turn down the volume again because like it's a noise. I don't want that. I don't want like. Well, I have to leave it. I want to hear if I'm getting a call. But march, march, and drink something. Let's uh, play this one. This is why my cell phone is always like on vibration because I hate it when it makes sound. But I don't want to miss the call in case the delivery guy comes, so... 
and Jay is not here, so I cannot get to the door. Woo! 20 seconds. Mouthy, I wanted to do more ball stuff and now you're you're kind of in the way. Ah. Down on the floor. Make sure. And we do the crab taps, the crab, the B. Tap and down, tap and down, right? Whoop. Instead of the ball exercises I wanted to do. Whoop. Whoop. Boop, boop, woo! Yes, I'm a cyborg. Ah, one day I'll become a real cyborg. <sighs> would be so cool, right? If that would actually like work properly, because, because nowadays, well, our science is not that far. But imagine, like in those movies, when you like could could be like upgrading your body into like some really crazy stuff. Up, and up, 10 seconds, boop, boop, we flip it around, flippity flip and we're gonna do bird dogs, so, tabletop position, one arm out, one leg out, and in and out, you're right, in and out, we reach it, we out, and when we come in, round back, pulling our navel up, bringing knee and elbow together, Shoulders away from the ears here at all times, right? Slouching is bad. And up and in. This is a good move for a bum, for or lower back or shoulders. Yeah, it's a great, great move for posture in general. In and out. 25 seconds and then we switch sides. La la la. Woo! Let's go. In and out. Ten seconds. I have pole class today later on, by the way. Usually I don't have pole on Wednesdays, but today it's today I have. Other side. Out and in. Woohoo! It's not much more to go, guys. You can you can make it. You can push the up and in and out and in. And thank you so much for being here, for giving me a thumbs up, for joining me for the workout or just watching and enjoying whatever you do. Any kind of support is really helping me and I really appreciate that. Consider checking out my other videos as well. I do upload a lot. In and out and in and out. 18 seconds. Woo. Up. And in, up. <sighs> Merci. Up. <sighs> okay, now we come to bear plank or knees hovering here on the floor. And from the bear plank into the down dog. Back to the bear plank and up into the down dog. So our knees are never touching the floor. They're just close to it, but they don't touch it. And we stay, uh, we have a straight back here, right? Straight back, up and down. Our back stays straight at all times. At one time it's aligned with our arms, at the other time it's not. Up, down, up. Push through, guys, we can do it. Right, it's not so hard, not much high impact today. And still a really good workout. And next thing we gotta do, we gotta do shoulder taps here in that bear plank with our knees hovering off the floor. This is really hard. I know it. I do feel that in my quads. A bird in my quads. Wow. I really regret choosing to do that exercise, but well, it is what it is, and now we have to push through. It's just one minute, right? We can do it. Up. <sighs> Try not to wiggle too much. A bit of wiggling is unavoidable, I guess, but yeah. Uh. Woo. Up, up, up. <sighs> and tap those 
those shoulders, right? Tap those shoulders. 15 seconds, guys. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm sweating. There's sweat drops on the mat. Ah, it's burning so bad. Five, four, three, two, one. And we come up and high knees. Woo! Let's go, guys. Ah, how are you feeling? Well, this is a relief, right? This is such a, such a relief here. Pull up. Ah. And smile. The mat is wet already. 50 minutes, 50 minutes into the cardio section. So not much more to go. Malti's not leaving, so we're probably not going to use the ball no more. I plan to, but yeah, it's too dangerous with Mouthy around. So, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we're gonna use that ball again. Ab, ab, ab. Let's finish off with some leg stuff as well. But well, maybe we're gonna do other stuff too. But what we do now is a squat, a squat, and a lift to the side. A squat and a leg lift to the side and yeah as before as like before it's with the squat you go down weight is in your heels bum goes back you can go all the way down you can just go halfway down it's totally fine because this is a cardio session it's not a strength session where we like max everything out we just want to keep moving and up to the side down up and up to the side and smile while you do that. And up, down and up. Ah, right. woo! So sweaty already. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We stick with the squat. Arms out and twist with the knee. Squat and twist so now we're also engaging those obliques let's do it guys keep breathing i'm kind of out of breath already because i'm talking so much and moving so much probably as well right it's not just the talking up and up Down and up, down and up. Ba, ba, da, dee, da, ba, ba. Next thing is gonna be reverse lunges. Right, you know the drill. You know what I want when you do them. I want you to tuck that back heel. Right, so in a reverse lunge, this is not a reverse lunge, this is tuck the heel and back. Heel is tucked and we go down. And you don't have to go super low, right? But I want you to tuck the back heel. This is the important thing. If you don't tuck it, then you're cheating. And I know I say that every time, but it's important. And I want you to remind yourself to do it right. Because it's always quality over quantity. And there's no point in doing it wrong. Woo! And up and down. And as you can see, I'm doing this pretty slow, right? Slow cardio. Slow cardio is still cardio. Woo! Down. And down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now, front lunges. So, to the front and down. And you have to step pretty far out. Because if you don't, then you're not going to get down. They won't have space like this. It's not working. So step out, down, and back. Out, down, and back. Woo! You could even tap the floor slightly with that knee. But just tap it slightly. Don't put down the weight. Oh, yeah, you don't have to, obviously. But it's a possibility. Down. And up. Boop. 
and up, down, and up. Woo! Down, up, down, up. Okay, now you either twist march like this, or you twist jump with me. Whatever you're doing, yeah, do it. And I would always recommend you in case you don't want to do high impact stuff, as long as you don't have any health issues preventing you from doing that, it's just your laziness and because you don't like it. Um, like when I do one minute of high impact, do 10 seconds of high impact and the other 50 seconds do the low impact variation. But like try to get into that high impact thing, try it out. Try sometimes to get used to it. It's a good, like you don't, uh, don't avoid it completely. Unless you have to because of health issues or injuries. But if you're not injured, if you have no health issues, well, push yourself a little bit at times. We keep it high impact if we want to. Low impact version would be just lifting your legs to the side like this. And if it's high impact, then you're doing these pendulum jumps, right? So close to the end, just four more minutes, and then we're done with the cardio session. Obviously not with the workout because we still have a lot of strength workout coming up, pull-ups, dips, stuff. Woo. So, jump, jump, jump. If you want to, if you can. <sighs> so sweaty, I love it. I love it, I don't care, I love it, I love it, I don't care, I love it. <laughs> 10 seconds to go, and then the next exercise, which is also going to be kind of high impact. The last moves are all have one high impact, at least one high impact thing, but you don't have to do it. So come down here and you either walk back, walk back, in, in, and up, or you jump back, back. To the front and up right down back up. and if you don't really like high impact you could step back and on the next one you jump back then you step back again you jump back so you could keep alter alternating right instead of jumping each time Ah, so cute. Ten seconds. Once more. Jump rope. If you don't want to jump rope, you can march in place. But if you feel like it, grab your imaginary jump rope and jump rope with me. So close to the end, guys. So close. Woo! Well, to the end of the cardio session, not the complete workout. Still a lot, a long way to go for the workout. 30 seconds jumping. After that, it's just one more exercise, guys. One more exercise and we are done. So, squat, jump. Squat, you could like squat, jump, but it's okay to do squat, up, and a jump, right? You don't have to do both exercises together. As you can see, I'm taking them apart, right? So this is not super hard. This is, should be doable for anyone. Unless you have uh, knee problems, obviously. Whew. So squat, you come up, you jump. You do the squat, you come up, you jump. If you like want to take it up and not, you could do everything together like in a fluid motion. But yeah, we don't have to do that. We were so good, we were working out so hard. So. It's okay. 
to do both things apart. Down, up, woo! And I mean, we still have a lot, a lot to come. Unless this was all you're gonna do today, which is okay, right? And, woo! Five years over. You made it! So, like I said, if you, uh, if you feel like this is enough for you for today, this is okay, right? Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you don't want to do any more cardio, if you don't want to work out more, leave it like that, leave it at that, it's okay. One hour of cardio, we did everything, full body, so fine. You can stick around to chat and chill, you can stick around and work out with me because we're going to do strength work now. But first of all, we're going to stretch a little bit. So, let's stretch a little, little, little bit. So, bring those hands together behind our back. Try and try and pull them up. Lean forward. Woo. And move them from side to side. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. Hands together, up here. Ah, oh, lean over. Ah, oh, the other way around. Ah. Hmm. Rotate your head to one side, but gently don't go to your max. The other side. Wide stance, wide stance here, come down. Ooh. Nice job, everyone, nice job. Ah. And maybe you can even like bring your elbows to the floor. If you can, don't worry about it. Maybe even your head, grabbing those ankles. Make sure not to fall over and feel a nice stretch in your posterior chain. In the back side of your leg, in your thumb. And up. Uh, and bring those feet back in again. Roll up. Shake it out. External hip rotation. You might want to hold on to something to not fall over. Oop. And the other way around. Ooh. Uh, rotate. Ooh. And the other way. Woo. Ah, drink again. And smile. So I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and then we're going to do the strength work. Mm. I'm going to run an ad break because I won't be here. So, yeah, I go take a bathroom break too or, um, or get something to drink. And then we'll move back to you finish in one
here I am. I'm actually not live every morning, just four times a week. But actually five times a week, but the one time is on on uh is on So So guys. No, this is still not right. Don't spread rumors that are not right, right? It's not, I don't go live every morning. This is a straight out lie, right? So, Kita and Kita. So, guys, guys, um, yeah, I know that, but what you, what you wrote was not correct. That's why I interfered here. So, um, and up. I don't go live every morning. I'm live Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Friday. And on Thursdays, I am live on Twitch with gaming. So this is why I had to delete it, because it's not true. OK, guys. Woo! Just so people every few days. Yeah, a lot of days, like four days a week, I'm live here. Because we don't want people to wait here for me to be live and then I'm not live. And anyway, like it's not morning for everyone. It depends on where we're at, right? For me, it's morning, but for other people, it might be in the middle of the night or in the evening. So, so just subscribe and put on, subscribe and put on the bell. Okay, guys, what we do now, we're going to start with the, um, we're going to do pull-ups. If you don't have a pull-up bar, if you don't have a pull-up bar, right, then you can do the down dog push-ups here, right? Um, flaring out a little bit, going down here, right? You don't have to go that low, you can just go halfway, which would be fine too. Hi, Shara, welcome. Good morning. Um, and yeah, my water is almost empty. I need to get new water soon, but well, we do that later. Mouty needs new water too. There we go. Okay. We were trying to do six pull-ups the other day. I'm going to try to do six pull-ups each day now because yeah, I have to advance. So let's do six. And then we're gonna do the ones with the tucked knees because these are good to train as well. Or back for arms and or up. Okay, six pull-ups. I'm not going to count out loud because I'll need the breath. I need the oxygen. Um, but yeah, you can do as many pull-ups as you like. The important thing is like um, you could have your arm. You should have your, you should start all the way down and then all the way up, ideally with your chin over the bar. If you cannot get it over the bar for the last rep or the last two reps, well, that happens. But really try to get it over the bar. And then you can do the wide grip ones, you can do the narrow grip ones, you can do the chin up ones, the neutral ones, it's up to you, up to the pull up bar that you have. And yeah, let's crack it. One hour of working out already, guys. What's up, Mouse? She's, uh, she's like checking out the, she's peeing. She's peeing. Okay. No more procrastinating here. Let's do, let's, let's try to do those six, uh, Pull-ups. <sighs> Last one. Yes. Oh, it's hard. It's hard, but I did it. Ah! Woo! Ah! Maybe we should try to do six again. Maybe we should try to do six again, and then we do two times three. I think this would be the better idea. Maybe I'm not going to get up there. Maybe I'm not going to do the six, actually, but I will try. <sighs> ah! So, quick recovery. Ah. Da -da -da -da. Did did Malty leave already? Malty, you still here? No. 
She laughed. She peed and she laughed. Okay. Ah. Uh, should I attempt to do the second set already? Yes, right? Just get it get it out of the way. And then it's done. Okay, I didn't quite get my chin over the bar there, but well, it's okay, it's okay. Ah! We tried, the important thing is to try, to keep pushing. Give those legs a rest now. And those arms, I mean. Those arms, those legs. We're gonna give those arms a rest now. Um. Before we do the other ones. Uh. But what should we do? Like, because I don't want to change the camera angle. Ah, oh, we could do the shrimp squats, right? Let's do five shrimp squats on each side. Or the assisted shrimp squats. So we'll a shrimp squat and squat. A single leg squat. I know we said we do abs and arms, but we do just the shrimp squats. Apart from that, not much leg work, lower body work. Uh, we grab one heel. Or one, one heel, one foot. And then you would squat down and cut up again. Um, and um, I'm still learning that. So what I'm doing, I'm doing five assisted ones, getting my knee on top of the yoga block. So I don't have to go all the way down because I, if I go all the way down on one side, sometimes I can do one off and none. And um, so this is why we're going to use the, uh, this one for assisted. I know you cannot see that really good right now because we're actually still doing the pull up. So this is why the camera is still showing up there, but well, it doesn't matter, right? You know what we're doing. We're tapping down onto, onto the yoga block with that knee five times up and down. And the slower you go, the harder it is. We can like move the camera a little bit down so you can see it uh, better. Are we still gonna work the pistol squats next time? But yeah, I'm focusing on that now. So now you can see that better. So go slow, down, and slowly up. Right? Really slow. The slower you go, the harder it is. And don't crash down on the yoga block. Really try to go down softly. Like to hold, I like to do it by strength and not, yeah, and not momentum or not because you're falling down. Ah, two more. Wow, this really burns. Oh, yeah. And up. Woo. Ay, 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 ay. And once more. And down. Ah. Oh. <sighs> other side. For the other side, I'm probably going to hold on to the power top because I have trouble with the balance. Oh, well. It is, it is what it is. Let's go, guys. Holding on. Maybe holding on here, let's see. Maybe I can go down without holding on to it. Oh no. That side is so much harder, it's un incredible. Ah, one, 
One of five. Two. Ah. ah. One finger here to hold on. Oh, pressing down there. That's no good. Ah. Was it number three? Yes, it was number three. Two more. And then we're done for those. And uh, ah, the dumbbells have arrived, guys. They're here. They are here. Wait a second. Ah, ah isn't that great? Woo! weeks it was only five weeks <laughs> so perfect and then the other thing that has arrived what I can show you right away I bought some uh some sports strings because it was I was trying I was it was I think it was like down Electrolyte drinks. It's 20. It's it's raspberry flavor. And it's uh yeah, let's try those later on. But we have the dumbbells now. Wow. Wow. Oh Okay, uh, now, first of all, we have to, uh, to do a pull-ups, right? We have to do those pull-ups. So well, the next pull-ups we're going to do is with tucked knees. We're just going to do two sets, three pull-ups with our knees tucked, right? So it's going to be hard. Thank you. It's going to be harder for our uh, core as well. So we hang here, we tuck those knees, and then we do three pull-ups. One. Two. And. Three. Oh! Okay. Now, before we do this next set, I'm gonna try to open that here. Oh my God, who would have thought that they would actually get those? Okay, this is not working. I mean, I do have a, I do have scissors. Somewhere. Okay, next set, pull-ups, three pull-ups, and we're done with the pull-ups, right? Woo! And we hang here, we tuck those knees, and one, two, and three. Ah. Oh, okay, we can change the camera angle again. Okay, change it back. And 
Krebs anpacken hier. Es ist 20 Kilogramms, geil. So. These are two kilograms. So what maybe we should at first. What about if we do at first we do we do four? No, four seems a little. Oh. Four kilogram dumbbells? Let's make them four. Let's. Oh, all the like four kilograms is maybe not enough. Let's make it six. Right, let's make one six kilogram dumbbell. one six kilogram dumb no it's actually not six kilogram because i think i think it's eight now because i think the this thing is two kilograms too i'm not sure right now but it's, it's hard this is really hard yes okay okay i think this is eight kilograms now but i'm not sure wait Um, what we do now, we're gonna do abs first, and then we're gonna use that dumbbell for to do more stuff. I need water. My water is empty anyway. It got, doesn't matter. We want to do we do uh, pull, uh, abs first. We're gonna do leg lifts here, so we're gonna do leg lifts on the bar if we can. If you have those dip, um, those dip, the dip stations. You can do the leg lifts like this. We're gonna do 20 reps here, right? Like this. Um, if you don't have this, you can just come to the ground here, to the floor, and just do normal leg lifts, uh, either with your hands at your sides, with your hands underneath your bum, and if this is too hard, you can even bend your legs, and then it's gonna be easier, right? So, let's do 20 reps there or on the floor, wherever. I am so <laughs> no. So I'm here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm gonna get myself some more water. I'll be right back. One second. Don't run away. Don't run away.
So, I am back. Come with the drink. Over 2020. So we're gonna do 20 more of those we just did either on the mat if you don't have those the dip station or on the dip station right up here shoulders away from ears and 20 reps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam. So now we have the dumbbell, and it's now on. I think it's eight kilograms because it's six kilograms on weight, and I think the uh, I think the the bar itself weighs uh, um, nine. It's in my hands, and I have to get it. And isn't she there in five weeks? Endlich sind sie nach fünf Wochen da. Woohoo! Um. Okay. Let's check. Uh, yeah, the, the bar, the bar itself is two kilograms. So this thing is eight kilograms, right? It's eight kilograms. Let's do, let's do some curls with that, right? Let's do some curls. So we stand here and we curl for one, two. Oh my God, this is so hard. Ja genau, man kann andere Gewichte ran machen hier. Ich habe einen ganzen Koffer davon. Ah, hier ist der Koffer. Da können wir noch mehr mitmachen. Let's do the other side. Did I do five reps only? Wow, this is really hard. One. Two. Three. Wow, this is really, I think this is still too heavy for me. I would say this is too heavy because, because I'm not, I'm not doing the reps right, right? So maybe we should go with six kilogram first, right? Let's make it six. Let's take those off and make it six and start with that because we don't want to hurt ourselves, right? We should, we should start out slow for the curl. And because I don't want to wobble, like, there's no point in wobbling. I wasn't thinking about that the, the, that the bars are two kilograms. Voll krass, die Stange wiegt ja auch zwei Kilo schon. Mit den Twerkers. Okay, now. Now we have a six kilogram dumbbell. Just six. Just six kilogram. Yeah, bald ist der 50 genau. Genau. Damit ich die Zombies einfach so erwürgen kann. Ja, yeah, that's what I said. The bar already is two kilograms. So, so, uh, es waren tatsächlich zwei, aber es ist ja nicht der gleiche Sender. Es, hier das ist das zweite Paket. Aber bei dem anderen waren war es beides in einem. Nur hier waren es zwei, bei dem. Da haben die extra, weil ich hatte noch so, so Getränketabletten bestellt. Die haben die einfach im extra Paket geschickt. So, let's do more. Let's do another 20 of those leg lifts. Auf alle Fälle, jetzt besser wird DHL angekommen. Am Montag abgeholt in Madrid, heute schon da. So muss sein. 
Und bis ich die anderen, wenn ich bei den anderen gucke, die andere Paketverfolgung von dem alten Paket, da steht immer noch, dass die versuchen, dies, das Problem zu lösen, wo ich so denke, ey. <lacht> And let's do. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, of course. We have to start ready. And I wasn't thinking when I put on the weights, I wanted to create a dumbbell at 6 kilograms. And I wasn't thinking that the bar is 2 kilograms as well. So now it's 6 kilograms. Now we have a 6 kilogram dumbbell. Before the one was 8. So let's do 5 curls again. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. On this side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, I do like that. On this side again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And one, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! Now it's nice. Like this one is good. Like also for doing back workout. Let's prep the other one too. So we can do some back stuff. Okay, we do another set of those abs, of those leg lifts here. Right, leg lift. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, now another thing we could do for abs actually, right? Is having those here and then to one side and to the other, right? This is a move that you can do with heavy weights. But I feel it's like kind of a pussy move. It's very boring. This is very boring. I don't know how effective that is actually. Is any one of you doing these exercises? It feels like so little, but I don't know how many reps you have to do or how heavy your numbers have to be. Or do you just do one side, for example? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is an up move. One, or the other one's two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What about doing an Arnold curl here? Five. So. One. And no, it was two. 
So an Arnold curl is kind of, it's a curl, and then a shoulder press. Three, four, five, six, We do eight, seven, no wobbling, eight, oh yes, Woo. and now the Romanian deadlift also, this is going to be so much more effective now, right, back uh, to the front with a straight back, and lifting with a bum. Well, but this is something that we might want to do on Friday because today is not leg day. But now we can do these things, right? So much more effective now. Woohoo! Hi, Jörn, welcome! Let's do five more just because we started doing those. Five. Four. Back straight. Three. A two. And one. Down. We're gonna do some more of those Arnold curls. Good morning, anime face. Welcome. Have you seen my dumbbells arrive? They arrived. And it only took five weeks now. This time. The company, they picked them up on Monday and they're here today, so... Woo! Going to do another set of those leg lifts. Another set of leg lifts, guys. What time is it? 12, 7, okay. We still have to do dips, though. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Down. Woo! Ah, let's hang here from the pull-up bar if we can. Ah, just decompressing the spine. And let's do... Let's do eight more. We can of those Arnold curls. So, grab your dumbbells. Wow, they're heavy. They are. So. And we curl and up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Whee. Two more. Seven. No wobbly. If you wobble, they dumble that too heavy. Eight. Ah. Oh. Ah, I love it. So maybe Friday we're going to do a larger session than expected. Maybe we're going to do a dumbbell session on Friday as well, apart from the stretching. Let's see. Okay. Whew. 
more ups. We, what we do now, we do toe tap. So we hang from the pull-up bar and we try to tap the bar with our toes. I'm going to show you one rep, right? And then I'm showing you what you can do on the floor if you don't have a pull-up bar. So you would hang here and then you would lift those legs to tap the bar there. If this is too hard for you or you don't have a pull-up bar, uh, you could uh, do jackknives, right? On the floor here, right? And up and down and up and down, right? 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 If uh, you're up, if you do have a pull-up bar, do with a pull-up bar. If it's too hard, if you cannot get your legs all the way up, just get them halfway up or do knee tucks. Tucks are fine too, right? Do whatever you can. I'm gonna do five reps. Do five, do four, three, two, one, do 10, right? I'm not holding you back. And let's do this. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. And we're going to do those Arnold kills again. They're really good because they actually were engaging our biceps, our shoulders. It's a very nice exercise. So like without the dumbbells, so you can see that. So we are here in the curl. Then we come, we curl up and then we turn out and do a shoulder press. So it's like kind of a combination of a curl and a shoulder press, right? We're going to try to do eight again. It's going to be hard, right? It's going to be hard because there, well, this was hard. This is what I like, right? Just eight reps and the last rep is already killing me. So perfect. My dumbbells right now are six kilograms each. This is roughly, I don't know, 13 pounds more. <sighs> Let's crack it. So, uh, one, Two, no wobbling. If you wobble, then your weights are too heavy. Shaking is okay, but no wobbling. Three, everything is engaged. Four, halfway. Five, Six. Ah. Seven. And last one. Eight. Woohoo! And down. Another set of those toe taps coming up or jackknives. Ah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's getting harder to calculate that. Oh yeah, and we will be able to do the split squats with them soon. So another set of the toe taps. Tap those toes or do the jackknives or do knee tucks, right? Up to you, up to you. We're done with the Arnold curls or Arnold press, we, however you want to call them, press curls. Uh, we're going to do more stuff though, more stuff. So, hanging and one, two, Three, four, five. Ugh. Now we're gonna do some some rowing, some rows. So grab those dumbbells, bend your knees, right? Bend your knees, hinge forward, straight back. 
and then up and down up and down this is good for your back let's do 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 down one more set one more set of the toe tops and we still have to do uh or dips Whew. And toe tops. <sighs> yeah. Last set of toe tops. The next F exercise, I think we're going to do them on the floor. Well, we're going to do the holds here. But apart from that, we're going to do them on the floor. So. And. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. And we're going to do 10 more of those pullbacks, those rows. I know we could probably be doing more, but we still want to do the dip. So I don't want to go too heavy or too, I don't want to like, I want to get, get used to them bit by bit. Okay. Then. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, thank you, man, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up, up there, whoo, down, oh, I'm so looking forward doing more with the dumbbells we're gonna make me do a dumbbell session one day dumbbell and lower body work with dumbbells gonna be fun too so hold we're gonna do about a five second hold here with the legs up you could do this on the floor as well or in between two chairs or just doing like a hold the uh, high boat yes we don't have the handles and you have just the floor you could just hold this one right and start And we're going to do three sets. So up here, shoulders away from ears, and five, four, three, two, one, down. Catch your breath. Two more coming up. And we still, then we do the dips, and then we move it to the floor. I don't know, I don't think we need the dumbbells no more actually, because we still have to do the dips, right? <sighs> but there's gonna be more dumbbell things next time. And up and let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, and down. <sighs> and one last set, guys. <sighs> thank you thank you uh, I cannot read your name but thank you anyway <laughs> and last set it's a live stream it's a live stream up here and five four three two one down so now we're gonna do dips right i'm gonna put the dumbbells aside i'm so sad because i would like to use them more but we're gonna do the next time right we're gonna do the next time because now uh yeah okay. because yeah 
Do squats. Yeah, we're going to do that next time. We do have to, we have today is a high, today is upper body and core. So we still have to do our dips. So you, if you don't have those, the dip station, um, yeah, so I do use my pole. It's, it's, I set it up in the other room. It's not here because like here, I have to set it up and down it's in the other room. It's set up. Uh, hola, Orlando. How are you? Welcome. So if you don't have the dip station, you could use a kitchen counter or, uh, uh, how's it called? Oh, this one here. Uh, oh, a chair. This is a counter or a cup or whatever. And up and down, right? The important thing when doing dips is you go, you go back. You don't flare out, right? You go back. And well, maybe we're gonna use the dumbbells in between sets, by the way. And uh, da, 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 who are you? Who are you talking to, Mile? So, um, if you do them up here, I'm going to do five reps. You can do more or less or whatever. Let's see. If, it's going to be hard because I was working those. Uh, I was working with the dumbbells, so my maybe my arms are tired already. So, but yeah, let's do it. Either up here on a chair, on a cupboard, on your dip station, on the floor. Many ways to do them. Um, let's go. Shoulders away from ears. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Whew. Ah. Hi, Jay! <laughs> so funny that I see the 10 when I'm wearing leg like short. <laughs> it looks so weird. <laughs> okay. Um, in between, since you're waiting for... We could do... Yeah, we can do some leg work, actually. There you are. But what about the goblin? Ah, the goblin squat? No, but it's hard, like, with both. Wasn't it, like, this one? One. Well, no, I don't want to hold the dumbbells up. I want to give my arms a rest, actually. So let's do some some more of those deadlifts. Ten, right? One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Yeah, we need heavier ones for those, but yeah, it's just an interlude in between the dips and then we move it to the floor, right? Because like it's already so late and we're still up, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, five dips or more or less, however, how many you want to do, right? Up here, shoulders away from ears, elbows go back. They don't flare out. And yeah, let's do this. One. Two, three, four, getting hotter, five. So nice when you shake on your last rock. Okay. Then now let's do 10 squats with those, okay? So, arms here, hang it down. And one, straight back, two, three, four, what a difference, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 
and 10. I'm gonna look up more exercises that we can do and check out how many weights we're gonna use. Because for everyone that wasn't here, like we just got those dumbbells, they're super new or just got them delivered, right? Just got them, here's still a package. So. So, where's the ingredients? What they say out uh, here? They just said on fr in French or what? Sweetener stevia, stevia. Yeah, this is why I thought I like to check it out. Woohoo! So close to PK, guys. Gonna get there soon. Okay, last set, last set of dips here. Hi, old space. Welcome. Good day. Dips, and then let's do ten more of these squats, right? And then to the floor. Or do we? Don't we do floor? No, we have to do abs. We have still have to do abs, so we have to move it to the floor. Okay. Five dips. Ba, ba, ba. Five dips. Last set of dips here. One. Two. Three. Four. And. Five. Bro. Okay, 10 squats, and then we move it to the floor. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So I'm so happy. I mean, it took five weeks for them to get here. Okay, let's move the cam down so that we can do more up work. All right, because we still have to, we did a lot of uh, work already, but we still have to do up work. So, come you guys, come closer. There we go. There we go. Remember how I wanted to use the ball when we were up there? We can use it now, actually. When we were like doing cardio, but we couldn't because of Mautzi. So, we're using it now. Gonna use it now for some cardio. For some cardio, for some up. So, we're going to do some tucks here. 
right? We're gonna put our attacks and pikes. We're gonna put our feet on the ball, and we pike to train those abdominals, right? So, feet on the ball. If you have a ball, if you don't have a ball, you could do down dog to uh, down dog to plank variations. But now we're gonna do pike for ten times. So pike. And back. And high. Make sure not to fall over, right? Don't go so high if you feel like you're too unstable. And yeah. high. And back. And high. And five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Down for a second. Whew. More to come. Whew. Ah. So guys, the next thing we're gonna do is 10 tucks. So we have our feet up here too. And we're gonna roll in, uh, roll the ball in and roll it out, in and out, right? And in and out. Ah, that doesn't seem like a high net. So that doesn't seem like a adequate thing to write here, I guess. So uh, I would ask you to retract that, right? This is a YouTube chat, a workout chat. And this seems to be something that doesn't belong here. So. Let's put those hands and those feet out there again. And we tuck for 10 times, right? Tucking for 10 times. So, up here and up. Uh, you ready? Then make sure that you can tuck and out. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm giving uh, them a chance to like to behave better before I ban them. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and down. And as this person is not responding to my to my uh, to my idea, I will have to hide that person. Goodbye. Goodbye. <clears throat> Right? I give them the chance, I tell them they can behave better, they can retract that, they can try again. But if they fail to do that, then, well, then goodbye, right? We have to behave, guys. So this is a YouTube chat. This, this other sites where we don't have to behave, but here we do have to behave. Next thing, what we're going to do, hands, uh, feet on the ball. Hi, Peter, welcome, good day. And feet on the ball, and up and down. I'm great. I'm doing great. Getting all a good sweat here. Working out with the ball. I wanted to do that in the beginning during the cardio session, but my cat was here. It was dangerous, so we didn't. And by the way, guys, we could also do like, can we like also do like these? There's like, so I gotta look, there's so much stuff I gotta look up with the dumbbells that we're going to. And feet up here, right? Up on the ball and lift up and down. So. Okay, we're in a plank here, in a plank, right? And then one, 10 times two, three, four, five, six, whee, seven, shoulders away from ears, nine, 10, and down. Ah. 
So, well, this is like, it's not allowed like to make it here, uh, to, how does it say? Eigenwärmung stinkt. Eigenwerbung stinkt. You said this something you say in German? Um, in German you say that? It's like, you're not supposed to go into other people's, uh, into other people's chat and lives and to talk about your own channel if you're not, like, asked to talk about it, right? This is a very not polite thing to do, right? So, uh, so, I will have to Delete all those messages, messages, right? You're disturbing the workout, dude. You're disturbing the workout. Pizza. Pizza. Oh, wait, what we can do still? Oh, time now, time out for you. Right? Right, first learn to behave and then come back. Yeah, you can ask, you can say like, is it okay to talk about my channel, but like, Add mile, another thing, like now that I'm like telling people what to do, I really don't like it when people call me mommy because I'm not some old hack, right? So if you say that once or twice in a stream, you know, I can, I can overlook that. But if you say it like in every second sentence, it's just really annoying me. So no more mommy for you. Okay. Metal Gear Solid is a really good game. Let's do this again, guys. Feet up here on the ball. Right? Up here on the ball and one, two, three, four. <laughs> Goes in brew high, by the way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. I didn't say I didn't say hi to Ghost and Brew the first time, so hi again, like I feel bad now. <laughs> okay. Because no you're late. Yeah, well. But it's a good addiction. It's a sport addiction. Okay, let's do the pikes again, right? With the ball. The pikes. I'm so sorry that I like it's, it's like Right now, it seems like I'm such a mean person because I'm like, I'm saying like, you don't do this, you don't, 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 you know, I'm a happy and positive person, but sometimes we have to, sometimes we have to tell people uh, how to behave, right? Because this is a YouTube chat and yeah, and we all want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Okay, up here again, we do the tucks, uh, the, the pikes, so make sure not to fall, make sure not to arch your back, right? You should have everything nice and engaged here. And, and then we go up into a pike and back down, right? Up and down. Whew. Up and down. Yeah, sometimes I have to be. This is true. We have to educate people. Up and down. Oof. Oof. Let's do 10 more here. 10. Nine, eight, seven, uh, six. Am I counting down or are I counting down, right? <laughs> Five, four, three. Two, one, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, down. Ah, ah. Yeah, I have to, I have to do that. So, guys, ah, Whew. I said we're going to do some balance stuff in between. So before we do the next, the side plank, let's do the headstand with the leg waves, right? I did that yesterday once, and exactly, exactly, I did it yesterday once, and I felt like I'm kind of, uh, sometimes kind of losing the wavy thing. So this is like, this is, I don't know, if you can do that, you could do that, but maybe you cannot. 
So we come here into this nice headstand and then if you wanted to, you could do those wavy legs, right? Ooh, wavy legs. Just for the nice balance poses that we wanted to add here. So, now guys, we're going to do planks and side planks. I'm not going to put on the timer today, uh, right now. So, uh... Uh, I mean, I'm going to put the timer, but not this one. I'm going to use this timer here. We're going to do, first of all, the side plank on one side. And we're going to hold it. Um, we're going to do dips for one minute. And then we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. So not too bad, not too hard, but yeah, something to do. So in a side plank, um, your elbow is underneath your shoulder. You could be here if you're a beginner. Shoulders away from ears, by the way or back here, right? And we're so close to the stretching part, guys, yeah? We're gonna stretch soon, but uh, first of all, I'm gonna take the wristband off. But yeah, I wanna, I wanna give those, I wanna give those obliques a good workout still. So this is why we're doing that, right? So one minute of dips, 30 seconds halt. Let's get up here and dip down with the hips. The important thing here is shoulders away from ears, that arm can be over your head, up here, here, wherever. What I don't want you to do is to have it down here, right? Should be a chest, should be parallel. Chest is parallel, up and down here. Engaging those obliques. You can feel your abs here. They should be rock hard when you do that, right? Up and down. 30 seconds and then we hold it for 30 seconds. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. We've done worse. We've done, I think on Monday we did the two five seconds. Is it two five seconds set? Five seconds, five minutes set. So yeah, this is way easier. Up, 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 up. Five, four, three, two, one. And now hold it up here for 30 seconds. A 30 seconds isometric hold. No slouching, shoulders away from ears. If you feel like your shoulders are getting too close to your ears, come onto your knees, right? No need to have hold the plank up here if you're like slouching because then you're gonna hurt yourself. And we're almost done, guys. It's just 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Woo! And we're gonna do the other side, right? The other side, ah. Oh. Then we're gonna do a forearm plank and then we stretch, right? So, almost, almost done. Are you ready? Then let's start with one minute of dips here. And same thing that we did on the other side, you could have your arm up here, you could have it here. By your side, wherever, right? Just keep, uh, yeah, keep doing those dips. Don't forget to breathe. Don't slide out. If you slouch, if you feel like you're slouching, maybe come onto your knees, which is totally fine. Your abs should be rock hard. And let's do this halfway through with the dips. Smile. Hi, Busa. Welcome. Guten Morgen. Wie geht's dir? Up. And up. Meine Handel sind endlich da. That's gonna get to the Santa Dilemma with the Add And up. Almost done, guys. With the dips, right? 10 seconds with those dips, and then a 30 second hold. Isometric hold. Four, three, two, one. Hold it. And you can make this hold as hard as you like, right? Really squeezing everything. Whew. Ay, 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 ay. Shoulders away from ears, push through. Keep breathing. So close to the stretching, just the forearm plank after that, and then we stretch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! Oh, 
ai 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 So for everyone who hasn't met them yet, here are Okay, now we're gonna use them more on Friday. So Friday are probably not gonna be just a stretching session, but also another session. So um, the forearm plank. What we do here, you can do the forearm plank with a things pose like this. What I want you to do is to do hip to hip dips. So we're moving the hips from side to side for one minute and then a 30 second hold. So like, Technically the same thing we just did, but in a forearm plank. So uh, yeah, make sure that your mat, that you're not sliding out, right? Um, and yeah, this is the last exercise, guys. After that, after that, we're gonna stretch it. So let's get into that forearm plank, right? Everything is nice and engaged down here and move those hips from side to side when you do while you do that you don't move your legs too much right your feet stay tucked and you do this move from your torso turn 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 right turn and turn oh yeah ah you should really feel that in your obliques, right? Because your obliques are working here. And don't get up, don't, uh, yeah, don't lift that butt up. It's staying down there. Everything is engaged. 20 seconds with those dips, and then we hold it for 30 seconds. And then we stretch. Woo! And five, four, three, two, one and a 30 second isometric hold here keep breathing bum stays down your glutes are squeezed your shoulders are squeezed your abs are squeezed everything push through not much longer and then we can stretch 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Oh, we're done. Boop. Stretching. Woo. Okay. Stretching, guys. We made it to the stretching part. I'm going to quickly change the music and the tack hand. Then we're just going to enjoy the rest of the stream. Wow. That's so much fun. The dumbbells was made me really happy that the dumbbells are uh, right here. So. There we are. Stretching. Woo! Let's maybe, first of all, see if we can get into the insect pose already, the one that's on the on the thumbnail, right? I mean, I didn't prepare a lot of it actually, but let's just see how we get into it. We probably will. It's gonna be harder though. This is like advanced, so you might not want to do it, but we gotta to work towards it later on because you have to work your hip and leg flexibility for that. So if we do that from a standing position, we will try to bring those shoulders those arms down here right so we're here then down to be on those hands this is could this balance position maybe you stick with that right or it's right Ooh! we extend those legs and as you can see i'm so slippery right now Wait. Yeah, well, we have to work towards that. And I'm so sweaty. My arm, my my leg just like slid out there. <laughs> yeah, sweat can be, sweat is nice, but sweat can be dangerous as well. So. Okay. 
Okay, let's do some cat cows, guys. Let's do some cat cows, something easy everyone can do. So we're here in a tabletop position, knees underneath the hips, arms underneath the shoulders. And when we do the cow, we inhale and we arch our back. And when we do the cat, we exhale. And we make a round back, right? Inhale. And exhale. And thank you everyone for being here and working out with me, stretching with me. I really appreciate that, you know. Thank, thank you so much, guys. You're the best. Every support is great. Up. Just watching, liking, commenting, checking out my other videos, right? It's really good for the algorithm. Leaving a comment. Thank you. Uh, consider becoming a member. Right? Then you get our cool emojis. The beaver emoji. The busy beaver. Because we are busy beavers, right? This, like, this exclamation or this thing that I learned. Busy beaver, it's like so cute. Because in Germany it's like just busy bees, but I like busy beavers way more. Because like the beaver, I mean I got the I got the beaver tattoo here for my emoji because it was from Twitch for everyone who doesn't know that. I have like the it's here. This is like the emoji that you can also use in chat here if you remember. And I designed that for my Twitch channel back then and yeah it's a beaver. Like not because beavers are my favorite animals but because Beavers are fun and I was like, yeah, it's a long story. I was playing Ark. I was playing Ark and I was trying to catch a beaver in Ark, which is like a, a game with dinosaurs, a survival game. And then I was just like suddenly starting to sing that song. It's like a Canadian band. The band is called The Arrogant Worms and it's the, we are the beaver. And I just started singing that and this is like when the beaver thing came to my mind. So, um, let's come onto our backs. Let's come onto our backs here, guys. Okay. And lift those legs up into the air we're going to try to get into a flow pose which can be advanced it's in like more or less advanced move but first of all you have your hands at your sides here and then you try to bring those legs over your head and if you can you might uh you want to get those toes to the floor if this is too hard maybe you stay up here right but this maybe this is your max maybe this wherever it's good as long as you feel like a stretch in your shoulders and your legs a little bit and if you, but if you can, come all the way down, right? Down here with those feet on the ground. Woo! And then you could even start moving your hips from side to side if that feels good. Only if that feels good, right? If you feel like this is not comfy, don't do it. But I feel like this is a very good stretch for my shoulders always. And over and over. Maybe bend those legs if it feels good, only if it feels good, right? If it doesn't, then don't do it. And then you could tap one leg to the floor and the other. But again, this is more or less advanced, or you're just like flexible by nature. I'm not super flexible by nature. Like, my flexibility is something you can acquire if you stretch regularly, right? Regularly, patience and uh, determination is the key. Stay here for a moment. And then extend those legs. And roll back. Ooh. Oi. <sighs> Easy stretch now. Everyone can do that one. Legs up here. And then we roll the legs to one side. Trying to stay on the floor with the opposite shoulder, so we have a nice spine twist. And then other side. Ah. Ah. And lift them up. Ah. So, everyone can work out as long as they like. As I say, you should always adjust every workout to your needs. So if you have to go or something, or if you feel 
like you've done it now for a day uh you should always adjust to your, your needs right you cannot just copy me or anyone else you should always like listen to your body so what we do now we come to our side right to our side doesn't matter with which side we start and ah uh, first of all into that position that seems pretty comfy maybe and then lift that leg up and maybe you can grab the the thigh right or you put a band around the foot i'm gonna show you right for all the ones who are maybe new if you have a band or a towel you could put that around the foot and then it's going to be easier for a beginner to stretch right because then you're going to stretch here pulling the foot in as far as you can and maybe you're out here which is fine or maybe you're more flexible and if you're very flexible then you might be able to here hold the thigh or even the uh, heel and then you're here right so, wherever you add, it's perfect, it's okay. We're all different, we all have a different level of flexibility and we all have to work uh, to get more flexible. So yeah, wherever you are, just like do your thing there. Now, if you can, this is advanced. So if you're not too advanced, you stick here with the band, pulling in, in, in. But if you, if you can, if you're here and you feel like you could maybe even move the leg here to the front top of the floor and you do that for three times up and down down and up and once more down and up and then let go now the next thing again it's uh more or less i'd say it's advanced yeah it is advanced but the first part of it is something that you might be able to do. Exactly, like there's novice beaver, intermediate beavers, professional beavers, and then there's like universal beavers who are everything at once. No. Uh, so. You try to bring that leg closer to your shoulder. Maybe this is as close as you got. Well, then try to push it closer and stay here. If you are more flexible, maybe you get it further up. Maybe you can even bring that leg behind that shoulder, which is advanced, right? So this would be the advanced uh, version, right? This is what we're aiming for at the moment. Holding that. And yeah, if we're able to do that, you might even be able to get to grab that ankle and extend that leg right and maybe you want to pull the other leg in because maybe this is making it easier for you right some people find that easier others find it easier with the leg back there and maybe you just like uh in the beginning and you try to get that leg closer to your shoulder which is fine right this is like i said an advanced move so you don't have to do that from here, what about the illusion split? This is also advanced, right? Super advanced, so don't try it if you're not advanced, but it looks really nice. <laughs> and back. Oh. And let's come onto our back. Shake it out a little bit before we do everything on the other side. Shake. Uh, let's grab that band for the beginners, right? Or a towel, you don't need a band, you could use a towel. And yeah, nice. and thank you everyone for your support, for being here, for subscribing, liking, right? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you do like the stream. Thank you. Thank you! So, we're here on the other side, and again, if you're a beginner, you might just want to Put a band, put a band around that foot and pull it in. And maybe you're back here. Maybe this is as far as you get. But if you train, uh, one day you get closer, right? So every, you know how where you are. If you're more flexible, you don't need the band, then maybe you're holding that heel here, right? And if you're that flexible, yeah, first of all, we hold it. And then, you know, we do the taps. 
to the floor so if you're here you try to bring the leg to the front here tapping the floor feeling a nice stretch in your hamstring hi Walter welcome Feel a nice stretch in your hamstring in your inner thigh in your bum a little bit and two and three and up so the next thing again we try to get that knee behind the shoulder but if you're a beginner you try to just get the leg close here to your side so maybe this is your max which is okay or here you're trying to get that closer right this is like what you're aiming for here this new getting it closer and if you're more flexible then you can get that knee maybe here behind that shoulder like that right which would be super cool super good but yeah if you don't get there on the first try this is normal like it takes time it takes time and patience <sighs> so if you're here if you're one of the if you're one of the ones that are here this sounds redundant if you're here with the opposite arm grab that ankle and try to extend that leg in my case this is this time it's not <laughs> Forever. Perfect. Perfect. And it's okay. Get into that illusion split, right? You come onto that back heel there and stretch. Smile. Holding it for a moment. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's it. Well, because it was like probably because I, yeah, it was somewhere at my my hair or something. Whew. I so shake it out. <sighs> nice, nicely done. So. Now let's try the insect pose again, the one that's on the thumbnail, because now we stretch our hips a little bit, we opened up. Yeah, I was pressing against something, so. Um, yeah. Let's put that towel away for the moment. And let's try to get into that insect. We could do that from down here, right? We could do that from down here, trying to bring those legs up here like that or from the standing position again what do we do it from down here and here and then get up and extend those legs ah feeling crampy oh ah yeah not bad not bad Let's sit here in a comfy pose, straight, looking from side to side, straight back, and then ears to shoulders, not shoulders to ears, circle your head to one side, to the other, and let's come up here into the down dog so we tuck our feet we press up into the down dog we try to align those arms for the back we try to straighten the legs thumb is up there right thumb is up there and if you can ideally your heels will be on the floor if they're not it's okay right just try to get them closer to the floor but they don't have to be there hold that for a moment And then lift one leg on the floor. Come onto the top of your foot and stretch the top of your foot if you can, like that. Other side. So you would lift that, uh, yeah, that leg up onto the top of your foot and other one up. Down. Because we never stretch the tops of our feet. 
uh, the way we should be right back. Okay, see you in a sec, hopefully. And now lift one leg up again. We're gonna get into the pigeon pose. So bring that knee to the front. Bop, 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 bop. In between those legs, untuck the foot. Press up, palms down into the floor, looking up. Nice pigeon pose, feeling a stretch in the quad of the back leg, in the bum, and the outer thigh of the front leg. If you can, try to grab that foot with your uh, hand. Guys, hold it. Smile. Let go. Tuck. Up. And let's do the other side right away here. Woo. And if you're higher up here because you're a beginner, this is totally fine. This is totally normal, right? The more you stretch, the further down you get. So palms to the floor, shoulders down, looking up, feeling a stretch in the back, quad and the front, uh, outer thighs and booty. And now same thing here. If you can, grab that foot. All right. And down and now let's try to hold the crow pose right the crow pose um, because I want to train that a little bit more to be better at the flying crow pose so the crow pose is a pose where you're also like a balancing on two hands and your knees are at the back of your hand you could also like have your knees kind of at the side but then the flying crow pose won't work. So I'm trying to have them here um, to like desensibilize my arms there. So. Time to get up there and holding it for five, four, three, two, one, down. Right. Just getting used to it. Circling those wrists a little bit. And we come onto our backs to give our wrists a little rest. Right? Come onto our backs here. One leg straight. Down the other one up here. And again, if you have a band, it's very handy to put that band around your foot. If you don't have a band, you could use a towel or uh, something else. Or just like hold your thigh, which is fine too. But yeah, with a, with a band, it's actually easier. And you pull in, pulling in here. Pull. Yesterday when we did the splits, that was, I was like, oh yeah, it was so, it, was, it felt so good. That was funny, right? Because the other days I felt like the splits were harder. So and let's see how it's going to be today. Pull. Oh, it's back in transit? Okay, well, I know that. So now if you want to, you could move that leg out here to the side, kind of also the fake split. Uh, but this, again, kind of advanced. You might not want to do that, or you might, you cannot, maybe. Holding it. Oh, it happens to you on your toes. Bend, and let's do the other side. The other side. So, same thing here, both legs straight. We pull that other foot in, pulling in, pulling in. Closer. Ah, and now again, if you can, to the side here. Uh, oh. oh, how 
Sometimes it feel good, I hope. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> we flip it around again and get into a deep lunge. Right, into a deep lunge. So in a deep lunge, uh, maybe you're here, maybe this is your deep lunge if you're a beginner, which is okay. If you're more flexible, you have almost like a straight line from knee to knee. And you pulse down, right, pulsing those hips down to open up further. Just enjoying that stretch for a moment. And I can even try to like to roll the back leg a bit to the floor, like to get it closer to the floor, right? Twisting your hips open a bit to one side. And this is advanced again, so you might stick with that exercise, but if you can come onto your forearm here, then you might be able again, I might be able to get lower and might be able to have that back leg on the floor. And hold it for a moment. And come back up. Bend the back leg straight uh, and straighten the front leg up here in a half step position. Point the foot and uh, lean forward with the straight back. Maybe hold onto a wall or something else if you have to. So how are we gonna leave? How could I leave your side? Mama told me to date a girl with intentions. Don't make it lonely. That feels good. Out of sight. So, same thing here. If you're a beginner, maybe this is your deep lunge. And if you're more advanced, then maybe your deep lunge is more somewhere here, like here. And bam. Hi, Eric. Welcome. What do you mean? Uh, what, uh, what exactly do you... Do you mean with that question? I don't understand that. So roll. Ah, yeah, I do have yoga blocks. We do have the mat, we have yoga blocks, we do have a band. If you mean that, like if you mean props. Roll. And roll. To this side. Roll. And again, if you're advanced, you can maybe come onto your elbows and get that back leg down there. Like that. And back up. And now we straighten the front leg, we bend the back leg, point the foot, and lean forward with a straight back if you can. Whew. Lean forward. Feeling a nice stretch in that hamstring of the leg that's in front here. Oh. Nice. Yes. So now the next thing we do is we're gonna straddle a little bit, right? Straddling is always nice. Um, before we do other stuff. So. so you come here into a straddle position. Your feet wide. They don't have to be all the way open, right? Uh, can be closer together up to your fitness level and your stretch flexibility, obviously. Um, if you can come to the front with a straight back, you can be here. If you struggle, if you want to make a round back, then I want you to have your hands behind your bum and push, push to the front, leaning with your chest, maintaining a straight back, pushing, pushing like that, right? But yeah, if you can be here in front, then be here in front for the straight back. Moving up and down. Woo. 
coming closer to the floor. Whew. With each pull. Or you stay up here, right? If this is, if this is your max, or if this is your max, this is okay. As long as you lead with your chest. That's good. Hands to the side of your head and forward and back. If you can do that. If you cannot, don't. Straight feet, uh, straight legs. Right? Point your feet and a little pulls forward. You roll your hips down and your bum up when doing that. You stop yourself from falling over. Ah. Ooh. Let's hold the next one. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Back up. Maybe you'll be able to open up further here, right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe now you have to have your hands behind your back. Push into the front. Always adjust every exercise to your knees. Maybe you can be in front with a straight back. Rolling the bum up and the hips down. Chest out and proud. Oh yeah, it does. It does. Roll. And roll. Now, maybe you can come onto your forearms with a straight back. Maybe not. Maybe you're still up there. Fine too. Or maybe you can even go further down. Holding that for a moment. Bounce a bit, wiggle a bit to get closer to the floor to open those hips up further. And then ah, back up. Point your feet and move from side to side. And at first, we're not, for, not very low. We do feel nice that here in the side body. And maybe we stay up here or maybe with each time that we're like uh, switching sides here, we're getting closer to the, the foot, the opposite foot, maybe not. It doesn't matter. The important thing is to feel that nice stretch, to have both of your bum cheeks on the floor at all times. And new chest is parallel, so no twisting here. We just lean from side to side. Ta -da. And I know we do that often, but I do like this exercise and it's important to do that to train that hip flexibility, hip mobility. Ah, that we all won't, right? Let's stay on that side. And hold it for a moment. Maybe bounce a little bit here, a little closer. And the other side. Over and little pulses. Oops. Now let's grab our yoga block. Let's grab our yoga block. You put them underneath our feet. You know the drill. You know. I bought them because I like black, but in retro perspective, I think I should have gotten like colorful ones, but I, I bought them when I wasn't streaming yet. So, uh, yeah, because then you could, you would see them better. Oh, well, okay. Feet out here, point them and same thing we did before. Maybe you have your hands behind your bum. And then 
and you push forward or maybe you're in front here wherever you are yoga blocks yes to intensify that stretch you could even sit on a yoga block instead of having one underneath your feet and then it's going to be easier to come to the front if you're not that flexible already yet or not that flexible yet maybe put the yoga block under your bum or sit on a pillow or something and then you're, you're going to be a bit elevated and then it's going to be easier like to bend forward so this is a yeah this is something you could keep doing roll the bum up and the hips down bum up and hips down Proud chest. Down and up. Woo! Up and down and down. Let's stay down here. On our forearms if we can, only if we can. I can do anything to be kissing when you're right near. You could be one hand in front, the other one behind you. If you choose lift to be free, to try to open up further. It's hard to let you go. Can't you tell it's it's hard. I feel a really hard pull here in my inner thigh, but it's okay. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down, guys. Just a few more. Up, down, up, down, up. Hold it. Down to the front. Pulse. Pulse, pulse. Ay, 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 ay. Woo! Our inner thighs will feel like jelly in a second when we let go. But yeah, well, this is okay. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, let go. Slowly, gently. Woo! <laughs> Pull them in. Take him out. And let's roll them from side to side. Let's give them a little rest. They deserve it, right? They deserve a teeny tiny rest before we work a leg further. Yoga block to the side. Come into a kneading position, whatever position you want, right? And stretch your shoulders a little bit. So bring your arms together here. And maybe this is your max, which is okay. And just hold them here. If you are more flexible, maybe you can bring those hands together. And, you know, twine your fingers. And hold that. Ah, <sighs> oh, such a nice stretch, huh? other side and some people they're able to do that on one side and on the other day they, they can't also normal right we're not uh the same on both sides one side is usually stronger and more flexible and yeah we try to like to try to work both sides equally ah, to get them kind of into a balance but one side will always be more flexible or stronger Let go. Let's come into a tabletop position again. We're still stretching our upper body, your shoulders here. Giving those legs a rest. So bring that arm, like that arms underneath here to the front and shoulder down onto the mat. Stretching that shoulder, your bum is up there. Hmm. That feels so good. And up and other side. Ah. Good. 
Okay. One second. I have to I have to go to the bathroom in a second, but before that we're gonna try to do the uh um we're gonna try and do the flying crow pose, right? The flying crow pose. So, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but... Maybe. A little bit, maybe. Not for long, but... Ah. Well, getting there. Getting there. So, uh, I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I'll be back in a minute or something like that. So, don't run away. We're gonna keep on stretching. I'm gonna put an app back break in because I won't be here, so you're not gonna miss anything. But yeah, stay tuned, I'll be back in a second. Don't run away. If you were told you had only one day, would you change or would you stay the same? Would the I am I am back. Let's start with the insect pose again. Right. Because I said I want to do more balanced poses. The insect pose again. So from a standing position. So we start in the standing position again here if we want to. Alright, then. Try to get through here, your shoulders, as far as we can. Woo! Yes. Some of it's hard to get out there. <laughs> Another nice thing I always want to do, because I'm going to change the camera angle soon so we can see the frog pose and everything better. Mm. But before that, let's try to do the shoulder stand again. You know, shoulder stand. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that with my ponytail, by the way. Okay, the shoulder stand actually. Yeah, with my ponytail it's hard. Okay, now with ponytail it's almost impossible because the ponytails are in the way here, right? They're in the way of the shoulder stand. But well, it's okay. Not so bad. Not as bad as I thought, but the ponytails 
two are kind of in the way. So now uh, I'm going to put the camera up there so we have a better angle um, to do the frog pose, the frog stretch, that like that. Back up here, guys. Back up. Oops, no, this is like not the angle that. Like that. Like that. Seems good. Like that seems adequate. So what we do now, we want to go into the frog pose. In the frog pose, we try to create a straight line from knee to knee over our hips to get those hips close to the floor, right? Um, and there are many ways to do this. First of all, I'm going to show you from the front. Um, so, right, straight line from here to here overhead. And uh, yeah, maybe this is where you're at. Maybe this is as far as you get your legs apart, right? But maybe you're more flexible and then you get those hips closer to the floor, right? And you can move back and forth a little bit here, right, to get closer to the floor. Wiggle a bit and then hold it. <laughs> right? 90 degree angle at her knees at the moment and then you can roll the bum up and the hips down right to intensify that uh, stretch of the hips and this is a great way to get into your middle splits and your pancake wiggle a bit let gravity pull you down right dum, dum, dum. bum up and hips down Trying to bring those hips all the way down onto the Yeah, always hydrate. That's very important. It's very important. If you're thirsty, guys, big, especially right now, I don't know where you're at, but like here where I am, it's summer and it's super important to hydrate because we're sweating so much. So, yeah, hydrate. I'm looking forward to that session on Friday where we use the dumbbells. We're probably going to do a lower body dumbbell session, I'd say. Maybe a full body dumbbell workout, 30 minutes, and then we stretch or something. I don't know yet, but maybe just lower body. So much to do now that we have those dumbbells. Hold them. Uh, bring those feet in and come up here. <clears throat> and now, I want to show you something from this side that you can also be doing to open your hips up further. It's also the frog stretch, but it's kind of a variation. So let me see if I get out here. So we have those feet together in that move right now, right? The feet are together and then we move back and forth here, right? To open up those. Up. Up. Right? Like this. We can do it like this to further open up the hips. Up. Feet out again and move back and forth. Wriggle a bit. Oh man, okay, goodbye. Mm, guys, just, just wait, I just have to take care of some imbecile. Okay, so you didn't learn, so you did not learn, but it's okay, some people they don't learn, some people are just like, you know, they don't have brains apparently, so uh, let's go. So we just like, we just, uh, just banned that guy. You know, guys, it's not okay. Like to like talk about your channel too. You can, you can like, if you, if you have a channel and you're here like more often and you talk about it and you say, oh, I do fitness too or whatever, 
you know, this things they are these things are okay. Like we can like uh, get somewhere, but like this is just just spamming. Uh, this is just straight out spamming. And it's the second time I told him. I gave him a timeout. I told him not to do that because there's some rules, right? There's some rules. Back and forth. But yeah, some people don't learn. Some people are learning resistant. And that's okay. That's okay, right? Everyone is okay the way they are, but then they're not okay to be here. <laughs> um, move back and forth, guys. Back and forth. Opening up those hips. Oh, yeah. Wiggle. Hold it. Oh, and we had those legs out already, right? We were already at that position. My knees, my legs are so close to being to the floor. Hi, Scott. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. And yeah, thank you guys for being here, for enjoying that stream with me and that good workout, right? And um, if you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Consider giving me a thumbs up and check out my other videos too. Thank you so much in advance for anything. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And let's come down here, all the way down and hold that just staying here and letting gravity do its work right gravity is a friend and a foe because uh, gravity is pulling us down which can be a pain in the ass but it's also a good thing because like that we're getting yeah stronger right because gravity is making us stronger because we have to resist it we have to defy it i would always say her like gravity for me is a girl but this is because it's in German and in Spanish, gravity is a female noun. It's, uh, la gravedad in, in Spanish and in German it's die Schwerkraft. So yeah, gravity is a girl, right? She's a girl. Hold it. Feet in. Lift them off. 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 Woo. Up. And up. Oh, yes. Up. And up. Ah. Ah. And then come up here. Ah. Shake it out again. Oh, guys. Wasn't that hard? That was hard. That was hard, but it was good as well. So. Let's switch yoga mat. You're gonna roll out the yoga mat that I'm using for the split. the yoga mat away so this yoga mat is thinner than the other one so that's why i like it better to do splits side splits Drink something, guys. And then you might want to use your yoga blocks again. Right? You want to use your yoga blocks, maybe? You don't have to. But yeah, it's going to make it easier. Because then you can prop yourself up here into this half split position, right? And then we slide out with the front foot as far as we can. Try not to twist the hips too much. And yeah, you could use the yoga blocks. You don't need them. Up to you. Yesterday I did it without and was pretty good. 
Let's call it here. Dancing. Oh. And switch sides. Oh, before we switch sides, let's put on the ballet slippers because they make it easier to slide out. Stay there. Stay there. Oops. I have to order new ones. These ones are so broken. They have holes. There's a big old hole going right through the soul of this old shoe. And there's water around the ground And I don't know the lyrics no more This is a Nora Jones song The one I was singing Okay At this site We're in the half split And we're sliding out Into Into, yeah, whatever Kind of split you can get in Maybe this is your Mac Maybe you can slide out further Right. Let's stretch. And back. Before we get and before we do the other side again, keep switching here. <laughs> and yeah, if you have those yoga blocks, these yoga blocks, they're like a good thing like to do the splits without like having to round your back really weirdly. So Other side again? Yes. Yes. I say yes. Keep breathing. about <laughs> ah at this side but first of all a quick 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 breather i was like having those ponytails in yesterday when i was like preparing my food and everything right and then i had to take him out because i was eating and then i have like this bowl and they were just like I was hold the ball, I do other stuff, and then my, they would just like the tips would fall into the food. I was like, okay, <laughs> I have to put him back. Fun fact about my ponytail: ponytails, pigtail. Is it the same thing? Ponytail, pigtail. Ponytail is back, back here, right? Or I don't know. Other side of the split. Dictates, you never heard that? Oh, okay, well then maybe it's just me, maybe I just read it wrong. Oh, well then maybe, maybe that's why I read that. Maybe then that's why I'm like confused. Baby. 
Let's Google that. The different, I don't know if it's true, but Google says the difference between pigtails and ponytails is that a ponytail involves gathering all the hair together and placing it at the back of the head, where the pigtails are divided into two sections, positions on opposite sides. So this is this is technically pigtails, right? And this is from hemispherehair.com.au. So it's the it's the Aussies that say that maybe. I know. They even have a Wikipedia article on Wikipedia article. Pigtail. In context of hairstyle, the use of the term pigtail or twin tail shows considerable variation. The term may refer to a single braid, but is more frequently used in the plural pigtails to refer to twin braids on opposite sides of the head. Sometimes the term pigtails applies whether or not the hair is braided. But there is no widespread agreement on this. Okay. Push baby! Thank you! Kiss for you too. She's crazy. Yeah, well. World origin and the origin? Do we know the origin? The term pigtail appears in English in the American colonies in the 17th century to describe a twist of chewing tobacco. Ah, oh, okay. From tobacco chewing. Well, okay, enough procrastinating um, and more splitting, right? Thank you. All that you do reminds you of me. Your clothes, your perfume, it's like I'm still in the first week. Why you gotta be so crazy? Woo! The tweet is not about you, baby. Ah. Woo! Hold. Oh. Thank you. Ah. It's holded. Ah. Ooh. Ah. I hate that side. Doesn't matter. Other side. Other side. So. Without conversations, <laughs> it's you in your basement. We talk all through the night. Small reports to complacent. So keep loading tabs going. Why is your heart frozen? Ah. Down. Down. Hold it. And up. <laughs> ah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So. Ah. Let's come on our backs again. Right onto our backs here. Ah. Um, we pull one knee in, pulling out, oh, and we can take the whistle, we can take those up. Uh, one leg in. Okay. And then we roll it over to the other side. As fast as you can without lifting that opposite shoulder of the ground for a nice back twist. And back to the middle. Other side. Oh, over. Ah. 
Like that. Shoulder gotta be on the floor. <sighs> Once more into the uh, flow pose, right? So legs up here and then up over and if we can onto the floor, if we cannot then not, right? Oh. Enjoying that. Bending your leg. Moving those knees from side to side. Boop, boop, boop. And back. And up. I'm gonna do some standing stretches. So let me quickly adjust that here. Oh. Okay, wait. Okay, well the camera is like totally like uh like this should be fine, right? Just for the last minute. So. We stand here. Smile. Poster on Google is never married girl with big feet. Why not? Take a step forward. Both feet, both soles are on the floor. Bend the front leg. And yeah, bend the front leg. Back leg stay straight. And pulse a little bit. But it's also the matter. What a weird thing. Straight to the front leg. And... Down. Hold it. What a weird thing. Why does that, like, why did that pop up on your Google page? And up. Switch side. Bend the front leg again. The other side now, right? Hold. Straighten. Forward. Is that a what two girls are big? Okay. I mean, <laughs> well, you mean that solo, the the bridge for the kick over? <laughs> uh, we could just try to attempt to do a handstand, right? We didn't do that. For a while, if we manage to do that, let's see. <laughs> I didn't touch the wall there. I didn't touch the wall there. <gasps> Baby, what are you doing? Come back, kitty. You're cute, kitty, as well. That and cute at the same time. Let's try to do a handset again. Oh! Didn't touch the ball there. I didn't touch the ball there, so I'm pretty proud. Let's do again. Well, at some point I'll be falling back and touching the wall. Oh, oh I'm not gonna get up at all. Oh, 
Okay, I touched the wall. Well, anyway, let's stretch a bit. Again, feet wide, down, hands on the floor, or, uh, or cross your arms and swing from side to side. Right, swing it. You could even like, you know, turn your hands behind your back and pull up. Up. Come to one side here and maybe you're up here or maybe you can get closer towards that leg. Up to you. And then you walk over to the other side. And back to the first side. And to the floor. Get in. Roll up. Let's do a quad stretch. We didn't stretch our quads a lot today, so. Up here, those legs stay close together. Woo! Maybe you have to hold on to something. Maybe not. Other side. Pull this down. And now, if you have a chair or something, hi Ali, welcome. If you have a chair or something, you could use the chair. If you don't. Um, if you have a power tower, you could use a power tower, or you could just like stretch on the floor like this. But if you have a power tower or anything, we can like put that foot up on. You could put that foot on top there and stretch, point it. Other side. Up. Let's hang from the pull-up bar if you have one to decompress our spine a little bit. Ah. Maybe shake it. Side to side. Stretch the tops of your feet here. Oop. And yeah, guys, we're actually almost done, right? This is it, guys. Tomorrow there's no workout stream. Tomorrow there's the uh, arc stream. Ah, yeah, let's start a shoulder stretch. Shoulder stretch. Because, like, since we're standing, hand to the wall here, right? Like this. And then we turn away. Nice shoulder stretch. So tomorrow there is just an arc stream if you want to see that. Head over to to to, to uh, Twitch. I want to say to YouTube. Head over to Twitch. Um, it's, there's gonna be an arc stream. You don't even need an account on Twitch to watch it. Now straighten that. On. And on Friday we have another workout stream coming up. Other side. Uh, where we are hopefully gonna put those new dumbbells to work. The ones we just got today. So, yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, good. Oh. Both hands. Chest to the wall. And that was it. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Uh, what would be special? Well, tomorrow this. Well, there's always coming a video up on on Thursday, so it's gonna be something. And thank you so much, everyone, for working out with me, for your likes, for your subscriptions, for your comments, for writing, for just watching. Thank you, kisses for everyone. And I hope I'll be seeing you tomorrow on Twitch or Friday back here. We're gonna do some nice stretching, and we're gonna do stuff with the new. Dumbbells, guys, right? The new dumbbells. Thank you.
tomorrow is Twitch. Tomorrow is a stream on Twitch, as always. Every Thursday, there's a stream in the morning on Twitch. An ARK stream playing ARK Survival Evolved. So, thank you. And have a great day. Bye-bye.